Hello friends, today I'm really proud to show you this new Soma Smart Chase 3. Welcome to this new video. So Soma sent me this Smart Chase 3 solar panel and Connect U1 in order to make a video about it. But as always, I give my honest opinion. So first, let's see what's in the box. And then see what this is all about. So, there is the wheel, and that is the chain, the Soma motor, some kind of praying tool. So it feels quite heavy, solid, the back plates in order to attach it to the wall. So this new Soma has a complete new sleek design. It is strong, fast and quiet has long lasting batteries and it has swipe control so for those you definitely will recognize this you're the geek in the house and you like to automate everything but your wife and children aren't such fan of all this automation well they can still swipe control your shade then and that's a huge news as well they have a matter and thread patent pending so with a future firmware update it will be completely thread compatible so right now it is compatible with apple's siri google assistant amazon alexa you can integrate it within your home setup but you will need this additional bridge that they call the connect u1 so they say that if you can lift your shade, well, the Soma can as well, so it is really that strong. It is three times faster than their previous model, and it is a really quick and easy installation. The lithium battery should hold up for six months, but if you add this solar panel as well, well, it is powered completely by the sun. And you can also use some nice options like a light sensing AI and that means that you can lower and raise the shades based on the light conditions so that's a really nice feature as well the smart shade 3 comes at 199 euros right now the solar panel costs you 39 euros and the connect costs you 69 euros so this complete setup costs you 307 euros at this moment so as you can see they offer you a nice installation guide as well we'll open the box right here and then you can install their wheel on top So you can see they give you this braided chain with this. The Soma is compatible with different type of chains. So you have the braided with more balls every two centimeters. You have a braided chain with less balls. So like only two balls every two centimeters. And you also have uh, cords. It is compatible, but you have to choose which kind of chain you have while, when you order the smart shade so you can see here i have the version with less balls but it is also too long to install my smart shades so i replaced this chain with the chain that soma gave me with it in order to do so i will remove the shade from the sockets which is quite easy i only press a little bit to the left side and it comes off then i can replace the chain on that side and put the shade back on. So to replace the chain, just remove this end part. Now with the new chain in place, I can put back the shade in its original position. Now with the shade back in place, just check if everything functions still as it should. So downwards is okay. 
of course is okay, okay as well. Now before we proceed we first have to shut the shade halfway so I guess this is about halfway and now we can proceed. We can feed the it in this wheel and we can put the wheel into the Soma, so you can see there's a flat end that should be aligned with that flat end, of course. And then we put the screw on top. All this is really straightforward, really easy to do, even if you aren't that manual. There you go. Before placing back the front cover, we have to activate the device, and we do this by pressing this hole. And now the LED is blinking, so it is activated. So we can put back on the front cover then. So we clean the surface thoroughly. And then before sticking it on, be sure that this part is position downwards so you see all the dents this way we can correct it afterwards so now we remove the tape of course you can always use some screws if you want to fix it onto wood for instance but on this kitchen tiles it should hold up nicely so be sure that the chain isn't twisted and with this system this is really clever you can stick it on the wall and afterwards even put more pressure onto your chain if needed. So I just put it a little bit sideways so the shade itself can still pass. And there you go. Now it is done before I proceed with the configuration within the application of Soma Smart Shades and adding it to HomeKit, where I'm going to add the solar panel as well. So the charging cable is quite long as you can see. So you can choose yourself what position you would like to place the solar panel, but I will stick it in this left corner. So those plants won't block the solar light and still the sun can shine as much on it as possible. So here again, we want to thoroughly clean the surface. I remove the tape. And then we can stick it onto the window. And there you go, we have our solar powered device. This is what the solar panel looks from the outside. So it isn't that disturbing at all. Now we have all the setup done. We can activate the smart shade with the smart shade application. It's already installed on my smartphone. And we choose for the smart shades 3, install and configure for the instruction guide to install continue place your phone next to the activated device continue so the current battery level is 45 percent the cable is not plugged in it should be So the cable is plugged in right now. Check for firmware update. Yes, why not? No update available. Continue. I have a beta chain. So verify direction. Use the up and down arrows to verify. And 
and it is coming down and it is going up really great so move the shade to the lowest position so the orange arrows can be used to move your shades for a longer distance with faster speeds and the blue arrows is to fine tune so there you go just move some stuff out of the way move the shades to the highest position now and there you go the highest position So you give it a name, continue, and the setup is done. So now you can see it is fully open, battery at 45 and plugged in. So let's see what happens now. That's really awesome. So let's see the swipe options as well. That's really cool. So let's see the settings. So here's my store. Let's see store automations, the speed. So you can even change the speed. That's cool. So let's try this one. Done. Let's try the speed right now. Wow, that's really cool. Let's open it up again. Great. So, you can group it with other devices as well, but I don't need so. That's more if you have multiple shades that you want to group together. So we're all done. Now go to the Soma Connect. Add a new Soma Connect. The Soma Connect comes as a USB adapter. And you have to use for power source yourself. So I have this one. Plug it in like this. So it's plugged in right now. So it's blinking green. Connect and configure. Connect. Select Wi Fi network. And I'm done. So with that in place we can add it to HomeKit as well, so let's go to Add a new device, other options, so there it is, the connect bridge, it's not certified but add anyway, add the configuration code, It's in the kitchen. Let's rename it Soma Connect. And here you can see that I have my shades connected with them. They're in the kitchen. already has the right name and there you go so let's see in the kitchen the store is open and here I can work with the store I'm using the smart history for a couple of days now and I really love it 
Here you can see it in HomeKit itself. You can see that my store is opened and I can simply select how I want to open or close my shade. You can some, see some settings, so the room it's in. You can set some automations. There's also the Smart Shade app itself. You can see it's connecting all well, the Smart Shade app itself. It's, it is quite simple, but it gives you some other options. However, you have to be within the range of the shade itself, I noticed. Even if you have the connect bridge, it doesn't uh, connect your shades if you're not in the reach. So here I'm not too far away and you can see it is fully open. The battery is at 46% as a couple of days ago. Uh, it's full right now. I didn't have a lot of sun, so it didn't charge neither. You can see this little nice picture here. And if you have more shades, you will see more windows that you can control. The photo is default. It would be a nice feature if you can set your own photo. This way it would be really easy to recognize which shade is where. So when you go to settings, you see the name of the store. You can see the speed, battery and troubleshooting. Uh, I read that if you set the speed to 100%, it uses less battery. So the speed 100% fits me just fine. And when we go to automations, you can add automation. And here you can set when and if you have the solar panel, then you can also use the light levels. And the thing that's really nice, when you click on light level, it directly indicates your latest light level. So if you see that the sun is too bright and you want to shade close at that moment, then you can check directly what light level that is. So as you can see, I didn't set any automations here because I set all my automations within the home app itself but let's first see the other option that you have in this soma application and that's the connect there is my connect as you can see here i have some basic options as well the soma connect has just one net light normally it is solid green i already saw it solid orange as well i didn't find directly what that should mean I think it, it, it means that it lost its Wi-Fi connection for an instant. I'm not sure. So maybe it would be nice to have a little explanation here as well about those LED lights. Now let's go back to the home app and to my automations. Here you can see that I have my store in my daily morning routine on weekdays at 6.40 when I'm at home. All my lights go on, so when I arrive in the kitchen, everything's already open and light. It's really nice. I also have uh, automation here and that is 45 minutes after sunset my shade closes so when you select it you can also define how much it should close so here it is completely closed and here you have at sunset itself but only when I'm at home some lights turn on and the shade closes for 50%. And I have the same kind of setup for the morning and that is on sunrise all my lights turn off and my shade opens. I also set some scenes with my shade like this good night scene. Let's check it out. So when I say good night Everything turned off and my shade closes as well. So you have a lot of options. It is straightforward within the HomeKit app itself. The Soma app is quite simple but useful. It really helps you with the installation where you just follow the widget. Really nice. 
So you can control the motor by swiping as well, swiping down. And when you swipe again, the motor stops. So with the Connect, you can expose the Soma Smart Sheet 3 to HomeKit and the bridge can connect up to 10 smart sheets. They are matter and thread ready, so with a future firmware upgrade, it will be exposed directly to HomeKit without the bridge, but for now you need the bridge. So overall, I really love this device. The automations are awesome, so I could really advise this. Please let me know in the comments what you think about it. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe, and I'll see you in the very next video. Bye-bye.